everyone it's Nancy here and I'm just back with a bit of a mixed haul for you um, the problem is when you're laying around not feeling very well online shopping is quite tempting so I do have a few bits um, to share with you um, I am actually now feeling a lot better than I was I'm still not 100% but I'm getting there um, I have next week off work as well to you know just get myself back you know up to speed with everything and you know hopefully actually spend some time crafting I haven't actually done anything for well over a week so I've got all these new goodies and I really want to play with them so I'm just gonna go through um, and they're all from like a variety of places and stuff online so um, this is just watercolour um, pad this is um, larger size so I can actually get a um a 12 by whoa stuff is falling down a 12 by 12 out of it um so I just got this because I have been using the back of those Prima um papers that I had those paintable ones um but I'd actually just use my last one of those up so this is slightly smaller than a um 12 by 12 only just slightly but I always cut mine down and edge it anyway so I thought that'd be fine so um, that's just some watercolour paper um, because I have enjoyed using those Prima papers so I just wanted to replace those um, I then got a, whoops, a stamping up um, order in and um, of course whenever I put a stamping up order in I put an <laughs> order in for some dimensionals because you know I use them all the time um, I then got this um, snapshot um, stamp, um, it's a camera so of course I had to have it and it is a really nice size, it does come with like a wooden block but um, I don't think I'm going to use it on a wooden block so I'll just um, use it as the foam mounted so I really love that and then I also got um, this one, I mean that one was called snapshot, this one's called flamingo lingo um, of course I did get it for the Flamingo um, but this is the one that um, is like their charity stamp and some of the money goes to um, breast cancer awareness I believe um, because you've got like Tickle Pink, you've got Caring Thoughts, Happy Days and then you've got the flowers and I thought I mainly got it for the um, Flamingo but I actually thought I could use the other um, sentiments and stuff as well um, so yeah and I you know a flower and that's never going to be a loss but mainly just for the flamingo there um, so that was my stamping up order that I got um, I also picked up from my friend who is the stamping up she was selling her wood grain stamp and so um, I actually got this at a slightly reduced price um, it's a lovely um, wood grain it's um, rubber and it is wood mounted this one um, probably could take it off I wonder, but I kind of quite like it on the wood and it's just a lovely wood grain and yeah you can't beat wood grain and it's such a massive stamp but I couldn't say no so I'm really excited to use that um, I then got some other sort of mixed media bits and pieces whoops I've got everything like <laughs> to the side here so I'm just trying to pick it up um, So first up I just picked up a pack of these like mixed brushes, they're like 25 brushes in here and these are like under £3. Um, there's lots of like smaller ones and then there's some of these bigger ones and then some foam brushes and you know I think they're really, they're good you know for what they are, they're, you know they're cheap brushes but just for some simple techniques and that and I don't, I'm not going to worry too much if they get messed up. Um, I then brought some water soluble wax pastels, um, these are, um, they're a little bit, I suppose, a little bit like a gelato and a little bit like a, um, a watercolour pencil, these are kind of pastels that you can blend um, in, I, I used to use these when I was doing um, my art degree, but most of my colours are kind of run out, so you just get a nice little pack here of different bits and pieces and I thought they'd be kind of quite fun to play with um, I'm kind of 
thinking about you know just doing a few more mixed media layouts i then picked up these water brushes um in here you get the fine the medium and the chisel tip um i've been looking for some water brushes because the couple i've got are not great and i do find if you get cheap ones you know they're a little bit um hit or miss but these ones um were they were under five pounds for all three of them or you can buy like one for like five pounds so um i treated myself to these um they've got like a chisel tip and then two pointed tips um and that's just and these are made by um derwin who also make watercolors so um and i like the fact that they've got a cap which means they don't roll about which is kind of good so i may be doing a little bit of playing around with those um, next up I got some just colour pencils, um, I had like odds and sods different colours and stuff but I'm also looking at designing another tattoo at the moment so um, I like to you know use my colour pencils and stuff to do the shading and stuff on those so that's what I got those for. Um, I, If anyone follows me on Instagram you'll see that um, I've been um, using this, this um, my sister got me this for my birthday. It's called Art Doodle Love, um, and it's like basically it's called the Journal of Self Discovery, and um, it's it's a really lovely book. Um, these are kind of all pre-printed, um, and it kind of talks you through um, different exercises and stuff, you know, to help you doodle and to help you kind of get yeah just do and as you know i've kind of been contemplating doing some art journaling and stuff like that so this is kind of a really good kind of intermediary thing and like i say my sister bought this for me so i've done a few little doodle pages here it's where he's you know doing some different doodles and bits and pieces um i'm really enjoying it um having a play so as i said there's loads to do in here and you know like <laughs> really like absolute loads and it's going to keep me kind of busy for a long while um but i don't know i kind of like that this is kind of quite a good thing because i said i've been sitting around in bed and this is kind of you know i don't necessarily need paints and water and stuff like that i've just been using a mixture of pens um so i have some of the pens here that i've been using i did then um go and buy i wanted a white pen um and because my white pen ran out but then i ended up just buying a lot of other, other pens these are stablo pens and um these are called the Greenpoint pens and I really like these pens they are like a, a fine felt nib and so I really um, liked using those um, I then just got a pack of um, felt tip marker pens and these are just Crayola ones because they were cheap <laughs> so I've got those I did also then pick up um, a few more sharpies i did have some sharpies um but i did just pick up a few more um i think the pack was called 80s something 80s glam or something so i've got lots of different colored sharpies here to play with as well um also i did whoa also i got this really cute pencil case which has got flamingos on and as you'll know i love my flamingos uh, and then picked up a few sort of odds and sods. These were um, some enamel dots and shapes, which are from the new Dovecraft range, which is where I used to get my doilies from. Really disappointed to see that their last two launches they haven't um, done doilies with. So that's a bit annoying, um, but hopefully they will do some more doilies soon. Um, so these are just a mixture of um, tiny little hearts. And that there and i thought they were kind of quite nice colors um they were like stupidly expensive but i thought i'd <laughs> just get them to have a play with um i do love tags and i just picked up these are just like in the little stationery section just some tiny little tags and i kind of quite like the idea of um doing some stamping and stuff on there so i've got some larger tags that i always keep in my stash i then picked up this um stamp set i mean and this is not like a crop the crafting one it's just like a little kind of stationary one but i do kind of like these little wooden stamps um they're just like little rubber mounted ones um and 
they've got a mixed world where are we they've got like a heart a little happy and then they've got little birds and flowers and the words happy and love and that and i thought they'd be really good um have just got a new planner for next year and you know if you know if you're on youtube you can like you see people who are like filofax mad and like do loads of stuff and of course i've been sitting in bed um <laughs> watching stuff like that so um I have got myself a new planner for the next academic year because of course um, the work I do with um, the learners you know we do work in academic years so um, I've got that so I'm sure these would be kind of quite cute to decorate um, so that is that then lastly is um, some bits that I got from Hey Little Magpie which um, I'm going to hopefully use for my um, creative team work um, for next uh, month um, I also did just pick up another pack of blades for my trimmer. Um, I just used the Fiskars trimmer. And I know quite a few people have had problems with um, their wire fraying. Um, I, as of yet, have not had any problems with that. So um, this is getting a little bit um, wonky in that. But it does travel around with me quite a lot. Um, I know quite a few people have um, talked about the stamping up trimmers. At the moment, I'm happy with this, so I'm just going to keep keep going with this. But I know everyone has really kind of mixed opinions about these. Um, but for the time being, it's doing well for me. Um, before that, I had a woodware one, and yeah, I didn't get on with that at all. Okay, to show you these couple of stamps. These are from Studio um, L, L to E. And these are um, more for kind of like using in my planner. But the way that I stamp words and things around, um, I'm also going to be able to use these on layouts. And so these just say a mixture of things. I really love this one that's kind of like hydrate. So you, know, you can ch check off how much water and stuff you're drinking. Which at the moment I'm drinking so much water to help flush out my kidneys. It's ridiculous. Um, but then you've got like little um, symbols and stuff here you can use in your diary. Um, so I really like these. So this one's called Planet. And this one's called List It. So you've got like little different tick boxes. Um, then different things you can put in your diary about like, you know, workout, goals, blog, giveaway, YouTube, post, write, film, makeup. So I wanted to try and get a little bit more organised with um, my channel. Um, luckily before I got um poorly i actually had filmed quite a few videos so um there hasn't been too much of a gap on my channel um so i am just going to try and sort of plan a bit more to you know hopefully that doesn't happen i mean hopefully you know i will be feeling better soon but i wanted to just be a little bit more planned with what i was doing so of course i brought some stationery and that to help me do that okay so these are um the last bits you will see from my last quick haul that i filmed on my iphone i got a lot of the chamel collection um and i got the stamp um the dies that came with the chamel collection as well as the six by six paper pad um i decided that i'm going to kind of do some work focusing probably with some dies i have a big shot it's been quite neglected um i do have a cameo i know that but i wanted to just do some sort of playing around with that um, so I brought this one which is called Cute Cameras. Oh look, and it tells me exactly what I need to do here. Because I was saying I didn't know how I needed to layer them up. But that's quite good. Um, I fell in love with this one. You know guys that I love cameras. And it's got a tiny little iPhone. I know these aren't new but they're new to me. So um, really cute. I love that. Then these next ones are the memory box ones and these are the mini hearts and again i've not um used these but i mean i really just like these and i thought these would be really good for like um using for doing like the scattering that um i like to do so those ones are said are called mini hearts these are called cosmic stars and so if you can get it out so they're just those ones and I do have some experimenting to do with these dies I'm not 100% sure how or what I'm going to do with them and then these ones are just called hearts and stars 
and again I went with those kind of theme because they are kind of quite um, generic these are kind of different sizes to these ones um, and a different style of heart as well so I thought I'd have a play with those and kind of see see where I got really but um, so yeah really excited to kind of just give give those a play so those are my dies I then got um, three of the new paper pads this is the Studio Calico Brighton Pier. I kind of love and hate this collection, um, but I had to get it. There's some really cutesy papers, and then there's some kind of really usable papers. Um, I will just um, do a flick through. Let me zoom in a little um, so you can then see. Let me zoom a little bit more. Okay, so. This is, say, the Brighton Pier. Um, so some of these are kind of quite usable patterns. Some of them aren't my favourite. Like this number one, you know, that's fine. Really like a map. You can never go wrong with a map. These ones are a little bit weird. They're like little pear people and a little tomato or an apple. And there's some script ones. I really like this one, which is kind of like has like words and then kind of just sayings. I thought you could you know cut these down and use them as strips. You've got an alphabet. This one is very kind of always very kind of studio calico to me that kind of thing. Then you've got these like little clouds that say oh what a beautiful day but I thought you could actually just cut these like little sayings out if you didn't want the cutesiness. Cutesiness if that's a word. This is very much like their um, Tim and Beck papers that you used to get in their um, kits. I don't know if this is designed by Tim and Beck. I probably would guess it is because it's got a lot of these cameras and stuff that you used to get in their papers. Um, I quite like these though, especially for mixed media pieces. A weird piece with deers, probably not going to use that. Um, I really like this grey one with the little pencils on the bottom. Again, this reminds me of something you used to get in the Studio Calico um, the Project Life kit. They had like a card with those on, so and then there's just some nice patterns, there's the numbers, some honeycomb and like stars and stuff. These are, you know, these are kind of quite usable. You can never go wrong with black and white. Um, this, you know, again reminds me a bit of their, um, is it the Sundrifter one where they had like the little the masks and stuff? Wood grain with days of the week, you're never going to go wrong with that. Um, and then I've already kind of shown you these ones. Um, so I wouldn't say it's my favourite collection, but I am kind of quite... Um, geared up to giving it a go and using it so um, that is that one the next one I got was the um, crepe paper notes and things I'm going to just flip this on the side so you can see and I do I really like the tones of this um, so you've got like the corals this beautiful mixed wood grain love that um, then you've got more script words sheet of ampersands again you can get all these in 12 by 12 so um, just sort of you know some basic patterns some floral um, but it's not only the top floral so you could probably quite easily use that some scallops polka dots um, a darker floral a really nice sort of arrow this um, ombre kind of chipboard effect well, not chipboard cork um, and some chevron butterflies we all know I'm not going to love that page, but you know, there's people out there who do. And before I'd have gone mad for that page. This is a really nice um, horizontal stripe with some like misting effect on it. Um, these are like photo um, tabs, so I think they'll be fab to cut out and actually use to cluster around photos. And there's smaller patterns here. These are just kind of like um, envelopes by the look of it. Um, these are kind of little cards, which again you could cut out and use for journaling. Um, these are some nice little sort of chevrony patterns. Kind of, I kind of quite like a lot of these. Um, this is again the cut apart sheet. Of course, if you got this in the larger one, you know there being you know larger designs. But you know, I kind of quite like the idea of cutting the little bits out to cluster um, round. So that is the crepe paper notes and things. <laughs> and then finally, is the Jen Hadfield Home Plus made of uh, pebbles. Um, I've never, 
I've had a few pebbles pieces of paper in kits but it's never been something that I've gone and brought because they've always been a little bit um not comic-y but you know a little bit cutesy so um I was really um happy to see this collection um any collection which has wood grain in you know I'm going to love um then there's these really nice flowers love this I <laughs> I'm really trying to resist buying um 12 by 12 papers but I really really love these kind of things especially for bordering so um, these are the kind of papers that I kind of look out for when they're in the sales and stuff like that because you know they're never going to go you know out of style um, a nice teal um, polka dot again this is like a little colour part sheet so it says um, it's new day to shine you're my happy today is a stay at home kind of day um, <laughs> stay at home kind of week it's been for me um, so I like those. Then you've got a simple ledger, which are really great. I really love this. I can't remember what that pattern's called, but yeah, it's like a trellisy kind of pattern. Um, kind of a variation on kind of confetti. This is like little um, hexagons. What's showing there? Yeah, little hexagons. Some red polka dots. Um, some text paper. Um, a really nice blue sort of floral design. Um, then we've got a little chevron um, or herringbone, I don't know what one that is. Grey polka dot, love that. Again, another little colour part sheet. And these are kind of really good for cards. I don't do cards, but it's kind of quite nice. You've got one that says, like, with sympathy, um, congratulations, thinking of you, thank you very much, smile, you make me happy, you're in my prayers. I think things like that are really nice because if I had to make a card, I don't tend to like buying cards, I like to make cards where I can. Um, but yeah, they're kind of quite nice to just have in my stash and I've got them there. Um, again, pale pink, kind of chevron. Grey, I'm loving the grey at the moment. Um, then this is kind of a darker grey, it's not black. Um, and then this grey sort of floral. Um, so that is the Jen Hadfield Homemade for Pebbles. And as I said, I really, really like that. Um, so, that was my quick haul. Well, it wasn't too quick because, you know, I'm not able to ever do anything quickly. Um... But yeah, that's kind of the thing I've brought over the last couple of weeks because um, I've been laying around in bed feeling sorry for myself. Um, so yeah, that is everything I've brought and I'm hopefully going to get to create with that soon and hopefully have the energy to do some bits and pieces. Um, so thank you very much guys and I will see you all again soon in a process video. Bye!